Hello everyone, welcome back to the final part and finale to Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy, also known as Rockman World 5 in Japan. I'm Ultima Mantoid. It's time to go stop a wily doctor. Hopefully, once and for all. When you see the ground shake like that, you know you're fighting something big. And here's the first part of the wily fight. This thing is literally called left knuckle. Its weakness is salt water. Now, you want to keep out from underneath it, obviously. You can get four salt water in if you really try. But when he stomps down, yeah, it's kind of hard to aim with anything that, yeah. But after I think it's seven salt water, the left arm retracts and explodes, which gives us a gigantic one-armed robot that we still can't see. Part two of this uh, this boss fight is fighting right knuckle. This one is much tougher, and as long as you can keep those eyes out, you can deal damage to them. I will show off what happens, by the way, when uh, the thing hits you. When it picks you up and it hits you, it sends you reeling backwards, which is kind of neat. Bah! But that is the end of the right knuckle, which is, is faster. He's just as durable. By the way, if you don't have the power generator, you don't have enough salt water to take out both hands. But I suppose this giant robot was a, a little handy, I suppose. Yeah! This is the third part of the Wily fight, known as the Skull Crusher. I'm sorry, not Skull Crusher. Brain Crusher. I keep saying skull because everything to do with Wily is skulls. Now, these missiles can be destroyed. You can use the Spark Chaser to chase after them, but that thing, I am kidding you not, it is called a Pikachu. Spelled with an S-H-U, not a C-H-U. Pikachu. Not Pikachu. Not to be confused with Pokemon. Now, if you try to use the black hole on these things, the missiles are completely immune to the black hole. So is the Pikachu. So, don't use the black hole on him. You can, however, use things like the electric shock on it. Yeah, don't even try using that on it. If you're going to use the uh, photon missile, make sure you're up in its face. And if you don't have it close enough, you won't be able to do anything. And if you need to buy some time from the missiles, the uh, bubble bomb works really well. Now, when it has a 7, it's going to leap over you. Oh god, did I just walk into the... Um, that's new. I don't remember being able to do that. I guess I never did it. Now, when the Pikachu comes out, you can hit him with the Grab Buster. However, one of the only enemies in the entire game that if you hit with the Grab Buster, you get no additional health. So, if you see a timer with three, um... You can take out the, the missiles, by the way. And that leaves us with no salt water. So we're going to finish off with the electric shock. Actually, no. Why don't we just buster it? I do want to show you just how durable that thing is. If you place your uh, bubble bomb correctly, you can take those things out. What else have I not used on it? 
uh, Spark Chaser is really good against the Pikachu, but I'm going to use... This is how long it takes if you're not charging your Buster. Three. Four. Five. Walk under. Six. Seven. Eight. Now, seven is the toughest one to work with. But with that, bah! You have to use the Olibel, which is what those bombs are called, against the base of the Brain Crusher in order to actually defeat it. No weapon actually does damage to the Brain Crusher. You have to use the Olibels to actually defeat it. Then we get the final part of the Brain Crusher, which, you know, uh, Grab Buster does, I think it's two points of damage, but it gives you no health. The actual best weapon to use against this thing is the Spark Chaser. It deals two points of damage each time it contacts. Just as long as you can dodge the ground spikes, you don't even have to aim. You can just focus on those spikes, or the sparks that are on the ground, and not jump into the spikes. But with that, while he's trying to get away. So, let's chase after him, shall we? Hey, look, there he is. Behold, Mega Man! I have awakened the ancient weapon, Sunstar! Its Nova weapon will destroy you! Sunstar, huh? Ancient weapon. Sunstar, destroy Mega Man! Of course, now we have to fight him. Get ready. Wait, what the? Did he just... What? You fool! How dare you attack the mighty Dr. Wily! And Wily's gonna run away with his tail tucked between his legs. Because the actual capsule got damaged by Sunstar. You are Mega Man. I am Sunstar, the Doomsday Weapon. I must destroy all inferior life forms. Thus begins the final boss fight of the game against Sunstar. It's not Dr. Wily. That's right. Now I'm going to do this in the most heroic fashion possible. I'm going to take him Buster only. His actual weapon... Well, he, he doesn't really have an actual weakness. Ow, God. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I get hit again. And yes, it's considered a space battle. Whoa, I hit my fucking square button. I need to move that thing. Uh, use the energy tank. Thank you. But yeah, his actual weakness is non-existent. And... After so much damage, he will drop the floor. I am not very good at fighting him with just the Buster. He'll fire three fireballs, and then he'll fire that thing. Which you can easily jump over those things. Whoa! Hello there. This is where all those E-Tanks are going to come in handy. Because Sunstar is not easy. And then he will start rolling. Now there is one attack that he gets. And I hope that he'll get to use it. Here it is. This is the worst attack he can do. And I'll show you why. Because I would have died right there. It deals four points of damage times two. On this third uh, third and final part of the uh, the fight, you want to keep him from jumping into the air. Now, I'm going to do this so I can show off the uh, weapon tank. I'm going to use it on the uh, tank on Tango. See, one weapon tank refills one weapon. However, if you use your S tank. We have everything. And you can buy more S-Tanks, I believe. 
Let's do this one shot at a time. It's hard to predict when he's going to launch himself. But, with that, Sunstar has been hurt. Are you okay? Here, grab my shoulder. I'm sure you can be fixed at Dr. Light's lab. Mega Man, why? Why are you helping me? Because we are both robots. Yes, and we're both created to fight. No, you're wrong. I only fight when I'm forced to protect the world from those who would pit machines against man. I believe humans and robots can live in peace. Maybe, but I will never know. My fusion reactor is going critical, and when it does, it will destroy this entire fortress. Sunstar, leave now! By Sunstar. He is a very tough boss fight. Come on, where are you at, Rush? There we are. Hop back into Rush space. Let's get the fuck out of here. And as we leave, we notice that the Wily Star is going all to hell. Excuse me there. Way to ruin an ending by kind of burping. But with that, the, the uh, Wily Star has been destroyed. And it didn't look like Wily made it out either. Yeah, which is sad, because uh, it doesn't look like Wily made it. And this is one of the best ending tracks in the classic franchise, in my opinion. <clears throat> Mega Man is just sitting there, looking up towards the sky as we get a cast. Mercury, Venus. Let's see, Mercury gives you the Grab Buster and is weak to... Ah, let's see. Uh, there's Mars and Neptune. Yeah, they're scrolling too fast for me to remember all this stuff. Jupiter... Saturn, because, you know, Wily liked it, so he put a ring on it. Pluto, the bobcat. Uranus, the bull. And Terra, the 80s rock band uh, lead singer. And then Sunstar, who I love Sunstar's design, by the way. But that's it. Yep. Mega Man just looks up into the sky. He has saved the day again. And he begins walking. It looks like he saved the day once and for all. I wonder if he's thinking about... What the? And Wily managed to make it out. Not in, you know, the best shape, but... <clears throat> Wily, you survived? Curse you, Mega Man. This war ends now! So he's actually gonna... Fight me? Again? Uh oh. He's having problems. Oh no! His UFO blew up. Um. While he has nothing left. That's right. Cry like a lady. Plead. Beg for forgiveness, as always. And then Wily runs away. And Mega Man gives chase. And all is right with the world. Thank you for playing, presented by Capcom. Now, I'm going to explain why this is one of my absolute favorite Mega Man titles. It's not my favorite, but it is one of my absolute favorites. The Star Droids, each and every single one of them is unique. 
all of their weapons are very, very unique. Um, I mean, the salt water doesn't sound intimidating, and it's very similar to the crystal eye. I mean, it, it's kind of the, the exception there. Uh, of course, you know, the crystal eye, when it hits the wall, it explodes into three. Well, the salt water hits anything that explodes into three, unless it hits a target. The Grab Buster alone is the is just beyond awesome. I mean, it, it really... The Grab Buster tones the difficulty of this game down a lot. If you actually take the time to use the Grab Buster when you get low on health, and analyze the situations when you get low on health, you're usually going to come out on top. Grab Buster is just fucking awesome. Just make sure you grab the health power up. Uh, the Spark Chaser is a weapon I would love to see at least somewhat replicated again, because it's it's not like a homing missile. It's completely different. And the fact that this game, like I said, they were all based on planets. Of course, I have a big thing for space anyway. You know, I love astronomy and, you know, the study of the planets and stuff like that. And stars and such, but the fact that they were all named after planets, and, and then again, the fact that they even included Earth with Terra, you know, is is really freaking cool. And they even included the sun with Sunstar. Another thing I really like is that while he's not the final boss, this is the only... I think the only game in the entire classic Mega Man franchise that while he is not the final boss... Which is, it's so nice to have a different bo final boss than, you know, Wily. But in the end, you know, Sunstar is, I guess, more powerful. He is an ancient war machine. What else do I really love about this game? The only things I don't really like are the controls are a little bit slick. They're not as tight as, like, the NES counterparts. Then again, this is for the Game Boy, and that can be kind of overlooked. Game Boy wasn't as nearly as advanced as the NES, even though this had um, Super Game Boy compatibility, which is where the color comes from. I remember, I think I mentioned this in the LP, but my mom paid 50 bucks for a used copy of this on eBay back when I was in high school. That's how... I mean, th this game is pretty friggin' rare. It was very hard to come by. In fact, I think it's the best... It is the best of the Game Boy franchise, and I think it literally is up there with, like, Mega Man 2 and 3 for me. And 6. What else do I really enjoy? That's very story-driven. This one is more story-driven than any of the original 6 NES games. It's about as story-driven, if not more so than Mega Man 7. The only ones that have more story to them than that in the classic series are 8 and 10, I believe. Because 10's pretty story-driven, too, with the whole robo Um Definitely give this one a go if you've never, ever played a Mega Man Game Boy game. It can be a bit rough at times. There are certain places it seems a bit unfair. But with the right weapon combination or the right power-up combination, you can get through any obstacle in this game very easily. So, that, um, that summarizes... Uh, everything I believe I have to say. It's... It literally summarizes four entire games into one. Not to mention, they treat you with something completely different and unique for a franchise that at this point people were calling stale or, reha or, or a constant rehash. With that, I'm going to end this video here and stop talking, and uh, I'll see you on the next, uh, the next uh, LP. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this has been Let's Play Mega Man 5, also known as Rockman World 5 for the Game Boy. Also, Rock, or, uh, also Mega Man V, so however you want to call it. Till next time, take care, and have fun. And remember, this planet is tiny in the grand scale of the solar system and the universe. If light travels as fast as it does, that really makes you wonder. Take care, everybody.